There is a lot of work that we should do ourselves in, in our communities to sensitize one another that we are truly one Zambia, one nation. Yes, I hear, apart from the equitable distribution of, of uh, wealth or resources, what else should we do? If anybody um, chooses to stand against one Zambia, one nation as a motto, that the constitution itself will take care of those people that want to act contrary to the unity of our people. Let it be implanted in our hearts that we are truly one people, irrespective of political divide or regional you know, divide. That is where God placed us. So this government will ensure that nobody goes into hate speech. Nobody goes into tribalism. Even under the current laws in the penal code, the provision is there. And therefore, all we will say is law enforcement take up. If Narumango stands here and calls somebody a regional rat, the, 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 the law should follow. You know, we can't allow that. I know our founding father, President Kaunda, deliberately worked on ensuring that we were one. In my time, you could even be sent from Kaputa, you go to Kalabo as a, a, a pupil at secondary school so that you learn each other's, you know, culture and language. That's what used to happen. It was deliberate. And nobody should come and destroy this. I can't promise anything that we have not agreed on, but we have to try and do everything possible to try and enforce this unity in our country. We all need it. The people on your left need unity. From this side, we need unity. We will not divide ourselves. After all, you have seen people who sat here. Some of them still want to sit here. They are already coming to join. You know, from PF, we have many people that have already joined us. So there is no permanent position to include now regions and tribe and the hate. That is outside politics. That is failure to do politics. We are one Zambia, one nation. We will continue to pursue unity as espoused in our manifesto to unite the country. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. The Honorable Member for Chama North. She's not there? Okay. The Honorable Member for Wengwa. Thank you, Honorable Madam Speaker, Your Honor the Vice President. In the previous regime, we have seen so many people committing uh, crimes. People bought fire tenders. People bought fuel tankers under the Ministry of Youths and Sports. And those tankers, we don't know where they are right now. And we are interested very much, especially for my people there in Wengwa, the youths. They are very much interested because they want to benefit from those tankers. And we have seen criminals around still enjoying freedom. Your Honor, the Vice President. What is the government doing? Because it's like these people, the criminals who plundered our national resources, they have gone too far even to Honorable start a making serious and alarming statements in the country, trying to divide the country. What is this government doing to make sure that these criminals are brought to book? Honorable because we are very much aware that order. the previous regime... Order, order. Before you finish your question, Criminals is unparliamentary. Can you remove that and maybe add another word? You can quickly finish your question, remove criminal, okay, replace let, it with another let, word. Let me replace criminals, Madam Speaker, to plunderers. 
these plunderers, madam, the former, some of the former ministers and some of the business persons under PF, they are still moving freely in the streets of this country. What is the government doing so that this community of plunderers are brought to book? I thank you. Point of order, Madam no. Speaker. Order. Order. Honorable member, there is no point of order during the vice president's question time. Her honor, the vice president. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the question asked by the honorable member for Wengwa, who, in my understanding, is concerned as to what we are doing about people that may have plundered uh, national resources. Madam uh, Speaker, where I come from, Omola and Ruta Ubola. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The case never wrote. There is no limitation to criminal liability. Yeah. It doesn't matter when it was done it will still be followed. But the most important thing, when members bring out this concern, like what are we doing? We are different, we want to follow the law. This is what the president has said. He has said, don't arrest people before investigations. And the investigative wings of this country have been given their freedom to investigate. They will not bring cases just to take it to court to clean up matters. They have to do their due diligence and be sure there is a matter fit to go before the court. They have to gather all the evidence. So for us, we will rely, will rely on those uh, wings of government to do their due diligence. We, we will definitely, the Zambians, we will definitely ask people to account. They will account at the right time. But we are not going to use social media. We are not going to, to be swayed by you know, people just talking. We want to do things right. We want any person who is guilty is truly guilty. We don't want just to arrest the people uh, for, polit for political experience. But the wings are investigating. The, 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 the SEC, the DEC, the FIC, we will use those professional bodies, investigative bodies, to follow up the matters. So there should be no hurry. We are just praying that everybody remains calm in the country. When he, your time comes to answer, you will answer. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Speaker, I thank you. Thank you, the Honorable Member for Chama South. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Honorable, her honor, the Vice President, I want to find out, Chama will next month be cut off from the rest of the country. Chama Lundas Road, there is no road. Chama Matumbo, we're remaining with 61 kilometers, again, there is no road. What measures is your new Don government putting in place to ensure that the most difficult points of these stretch, two stretches of the roads are worked on so that the people of Chama can be relieved from the suffering that they go through each rain season. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Our Honour, the Vice President. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I thank the Honourable Member for asking that question. It is a very important question. We are aware that there is that problem and we can't go on seeing our people cut off. It is on the plan. And we hope that this can quickly be worked on as resources avail so that this year we don't see what we saw in the previous season. So we are aware as a government about the issues of Chama. Thank you. Next. Questions for oral answer, understanding.